Hey party people, what is going on with you? BQ here with the King of the Mountain podcast YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button if this is your first time here and you're looking for a home as a Global Force Wrestling fan to receive updates, content, podcasts, all directed at the Global Force Wrestling Impact product. This is your home, I promise you, so hit that subscribe button. So if this is a spoiler for some of you, just go ahead and stop watching the video, but they... The rumor was this morning through a few websites that they signed a couple of new knockouts. And we've been knowing this is coming. JB talked that we were going to get two new knock, well-known knockouts. I don't know if these are them. But, you know, since then we've had Angelina gone. You know, Brandy's gone. We don't know Christina Von Erie's status. We kind of assume she's gone. Madison is also gone. So, it's, you know, I call it a bare-bones division. It's still got a lot of women on the roster but there's only four, you know, with LVN, Sienna, Rosemary, and and uh, Allie that are like the full timers right now. And I guess you could throw Gail Kim in there too. But you know, Ava Story, MJ, um, Alicia, we we know we're not, we're not going to get them on a regular basis necessarily. So there is room to add to the division. And face it, you know, Angelina, Madison, Brandy, you know, they weren't putting on five star matches by any means. Um, so this is a good thing. We want to see that knockouts of old, but we want to see it with new faces. We don't want, you know, uh, it's okay to have ODB around part-time, but it's, you know, to resurrect, you know, the knockouts of old, we don't necessarily have to have the knockouts of old. It's it's better to find women that have that hunger, just like these ladies had back then. So, the two rumored signings, uh, the first one is uh, Hanaya, Hanaya the Huntress. She worked with Women of Honor. She's she's impressive. She's good. She can go. Uh, got a got a pretty good look. And if you want to look up a reference match, she had a two out of three falls match in Women of Honor with Taylor Hendricks that was pretty good. And I remember watching her. I even remember watching that match. And uh, you know when it initially came out, and I said, "Wow, what an impressive um, athlete." You know, I definitely would like to see someone like this as a knockout. But my first impression looking at her was like, ah, she's probably going to go to NXT or something like that. You know, so, so she's actually a pretty big deal. And to have her aboard is a, if, if this is true, if the rumors are true, is really a good thing. I mean, she, she, she truly can go. I had nothing but good to say about her after watching the match. Um... Kira Hogan is the other one. I'm not super familiar with her. I did look her up a little bit. Did, did a little research. Attractive, attractive girl. You know, maybe a maybe a notch or two below Sasha Banks, uh, but with an ass like Naomi. <laughs> so she's kind of built like Naomi. So she looks like she she looks pretty athletic. But uh, from the few matches I watched, she didn't show me a whole lot. You know. Uh, you know, small indie shows and everything, kind of some standard wrestling. I wasn't seeing anything that totally blew me away, but she, if you look at her physically, you know, she look, she kind of looks like Naomi, a little bit thinner, and uh, I, I consider Naomi a very reckless wrestler, but she's very athletic, uh, very gifted in that department, and Kara Hogan's kind of built like her a little bit. Um, I see her move like her a little bit too, so I'm going to assume that she's she's got quite a bit in the tank. But, uh, so this looked good. I, th I think what's cool is both these women are Af African American and there's no color lines in GFW and, and, uh, you know, TNA's never had color lines. I'm not saying if you watch the WWE product that there's color lines, but we, you know, it's pretty well documented that the Caucasian wrestler is the most successful in that company. And with the TNA background, um, I mean, uh, history, you know, it didn't matter if you're black, Puerto Rican, Mexican, white. You know, everyone had a pretty equal opportunity to shine. And uh, adding these two women to the division it looks like a good thing. So let's hope this is true. You know, uh, again, I don't know a whole lot about uh, Kara Hogan, but Hanaya, I'm, I'm a fan. And um, I'm happy to see that this is a strong possibility. So, uh, in the comments, guys, if you're familiar with any of these two women, uh, let me know what you think, and uh, or, or go research some of the matches. Like I said, look at look up Hanaya versus Taylor Hendricks. 
uh, two out of three falls match. Let me know what you think of that. And, um, you know, let's rebuild this knockouts division, people. It's, there's there's some names that are going to be off limits for a little while because of that May Young Classic, but there's some hungry women out there. This is the hungriest women have ever been. So if you you thought the old knockouts division was something, they can take back women's wrestling and do something very special now because the women are probably hungrier now than ever. So uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Hit that subscribe button, my people. Peace.